Hello everybody, today we are looking at a brand new library from East West called Fantasy Orchestra. And you can see it inconspicuously uh, hidden on their um, homepage of their website. Um, and it consists entirely of burning cellos. Uh, no, it's not burning cellos. But look, it's it's bringing the fantasy world to life. What the gist of this is, and you can start to see it from the graphics here, is it's a kind of medieval style, Game of Thronesy type um, um, fantasy world, as opposed to the swooshy Harry Pottery type thing. Um, and interestingly, what they've done is they've designed this to go with the uh, their Hollywood orchestra. Um, pong, here I am in the top corner suddenly, um, because the actual uh, string sections themselves are very stylized. Traditional celli are replaced with the viola de gamba ensemble. Violins are replaced with a hardanga fiddle ensemble, etc, etc. You get the gist of this. Right. But what you want to know is what it sounds like. So what we're going to do is have a little romp through this, write a piece of sort of fantasy type music and see how we get on. If that is your thing, hang around. If it's not, if you're looking for how to program in Python, you've got the wrong channel. Obviously, but if this is your thing, push the button and subscribe. Right, um, it runs in um, East West's proprietary player, um, which is uh, Opus, and here it is. Uh, fantasy strings lurking down the side. Dulcimers, what we got? We got long dulcimers. <sighs> it does that East West thing where it gives you hundreds of different patches. What have we got? Uh, Live velocity dub. Oh, hang on, I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see this because there's a lot going on here. Um, live velocity double. Uh, oh, guy, there's only one way to find out what these things are. Oh, no, actually, if you, if you mouse over them, they make a noise. Hang on, let me just put my Princess Leia headphones on. Here we go, right. Ooh, like that. Let's go with this. Yep, I'm feeling myself being sent back in time already. Yeah, okay. Uh, repetitions, what's that? Oh, these are just a... Yeah, okay, you can hear that. That's a useful sound. I have a feeling game composers are going to love this. Um, hard hang of fingers. Let's have a little quick look. A crescendo. Yeah. Okay. Lutes. This is the world's quickest walkthrough. <laughs> but isn't this what you do when you get a new library? You go, uh, we throw all the patches, see which one you like, and then go, then settle down and write something, which is what we're going to be doing. So, um, anyway, where was I? Here we go. Uh, lutes, okay. Yeah, that's a lute, I suppose. Hang on. Yep, let's go with that. Viola da Gamba. Okay, what have I got the choice of here? Oh, I've got legato Viola da Gamba. Okay, let me do some of that. Right, okay, it goes right down to a D down here. I didn't know that. Uh, this has got, okay, what's a legato slur ornament? Oh, that sounds rather nice. What's this, trill run? I have no idea what that was. Chellies and basses. Let's do some shorts. Okay. Violins. Legato violins. Go on then. High octave, slow legato. What? Okay.
it is like all East West libraries, loud. Where it, I mean, some libraries you some libraries you end up going, turning it up, turn it up, I can't hear it. This one you go, boof. You know, so guy, you've got a volume knob. Yes, you have got a volume knob. Um, that's me doing the um, whatever it's called, um, hurdy gurdy. That's nice, actually. What happens with the rep one? Ooh, Trump dome rep, drone. I could use that. Hurdy gurdy two. We need more than one hurdy gurdy. Apparently, we do. <laughs> right. Where am I going to start? Start with your dulcimers, guys. Start at the top. <sighs> Mod switch, what happens? Okay, right, that's that's where we're going. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Okay, just turn my headphones down a bit because it's a bit on the deafening side. And, oh, oh look! I haven't seen, oh, look, that's quite nice. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying myself. Okay. Um, now, uh, where's the... I'm looking for the reverb in here. What are they... Because they always give you a bit of reverb. Stereo double reverb. Okay. I could do with a bit more. pre de -melay. How do I better... Um, do I want something longer? Amount of oh, volume. It's... That's perfectly nice. I don't need any external reverb. Look, so what you got, um, I think it's basically spaces built into these instruments. Um, you get a choice of, let's have a look. Yeah, look, you get all the, the normal stuff you get in, in. So the reverb built into this is essentially the spaces uh, reverb engine, by the look of it. I, I say by the look of it in case I'm wrong. Uh, right, let's put that interface to one side. Let's name our track Dulcimer. And let's get this. This is more like a sort of games. Game, game sound. Is it going to be a kind of one of these? That's too fast. Uh, I haven't got any, I, I just literally opened this thing up. I haven't really. Uh, Okay, here we go. Yeah, let's take him down a bit. 105. Oh, but you won't get far. Oh, there, that's what I want. Yeah, okay, something like that. Quite so sure about the end bit, but okay. Actually, oh yeah. Look, I'm not going to cry over this. Um, we are going to whistle up something super quick. What are we adding to that? Go on, layer two. <laughs> I'm just going to go down in order. Harding of fingers. Um, well, what do we have for going before? Dim sus, leg rub, spick turban. What do these things do? No, I'm going to use. What have I got? Effects, trills, wood. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff in here. Um, no, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go for a loop next. That is not a loot. Oh, you sure, guy? Yes, I've been around the block. I know a loot when I see one. Forgot 
to do that. So retrocessive record. Thank you. There's a couple of notes in there I didn't like. But... It's all sounding a bit late. Hang on, let me whiz it earlier. What did I just do? What I just did is this. This little slider here is track delay. In other words, it moves everything on the track back by 100 milliseconds. So it puts it all in time. Track delay is a very important concept and you need it for almost everything. Um, particularly when you're building an orchestral template, but that is off topic. And um, we will come back to that another day. Where should we go now? Um, I, I quite like that. Lutes doing their little kind of, um, sort of thing, whatever it is. Right, let's see what's next. What's next up, guy? I don't know, old chap. Um, what do we like in there? What about these Viola de Gambri people? Yeah, okay, I will go for a bit of a... How can you have a sustained emotional Viola de Gambri? Is that possible? Apparently it is. Okay, right. Um, go play, what's perform? Oh, I don't know, to be absolutely honest. Right. And I'll whiz the old... Okay, so this allegedly, I can replace... Okay, that's all right. High, I can hear a high pedal in here. Now, bar six. Open fits on A and E. Okay, that's all right. Viola da Gamba. It's starting to sound like a game soundtrack already. Uh, not a very good one, guy. Shh! Don't tell them. They think it's all right. No, they don't. They're not that stupid. Okay. Um, Harding of Fiddles? What if I still want to get these boys and girls in? Gliss? Are you kidding me? What happens if I just add that as a little effect? Maybe a bit much. I'm going to duplicate that track because I'm going to change the patch. So I open it up. This is the new one. And I'm going to change the patch from Glisses to Crescendi. Uh, and I'm going to just add a crescendo on the end one there. Uh, so we got the... Well, go it's a you don't when you're setting up a template you do not need to have every patch loaded in each track I've stopped doing that as you may have noticed because if you want an extra patch you can just do that duplicate the track change the patch and this is also a good example of why um, uh, the uh, it, using articulation IDs and expression maps doesn't always work particularly well because if you want to change what we're doing here is we're layering a crescendo over a glissy type thing and the two sound quite because you hear it sounds like one note um, or one one piece of performance so yeah okay right okay so so far I'm, I'm not unhappy with where this is going um, so what were they called Hards. Okay, good. Hard press. Um, now we're going to have uh, something more spiccato-ish. Oh, go for your 
Go for it. Yeah, let's do what we got. Octave spiccatos. Okay, <laughs> just working out where I'm going to run out of notes. That is the answer. A below middle C. Turn. It's a very gloomy day here. Somebody has stolen spring. Give it back. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. It's cold. It's wet. It's bleh. Anyway, um, where were we? Uh, do we like that? What happens if we go for a short viola de gamba? <laughs> short viola de gamba. Let's try them. Quite like that. Okay, am I going to go with this? Uh, where am I going to bring in my uh, Viola de Gambra type nonsense? Up here somewhere, I presume. Ah! Wrong camera, wrong camera, quick, don't panic, don't panic. Okay. Oh, shoo. Quick, nurse the screens. Right. Um. I am playing particularly well today. Salvaged! Short. BDG. Right, we don't have any percussion obviously because this is fantasy strings and most strings are not made for percussion. But, oh, maybe, come on guy, don't give up. You can find a way. I saw some, something which could do as a Colenios, Viola de Gamio Colenios. They've got a percussive nature to them. So do you, guy. Shush, don't be so. Now we want a big low broody thing going on and underneath, so we're going to go for cellos and basses, legato, string octaves, this one. Okay. The gates are opening! loud as I was hoping. That's probably because these two are too loud. So don't turn things up, turn other things down. Rule of the road. Okay, I 
am going to branch out now and add in uh, where's uh, storm drum have we got storm drum loaded up what we got what we got uh, installed i don't have everything installed as you probably noticed uh, rock scoring stools scoring stools scoring, scoring tools come on guy uh what have i got what have i got what have i got uh, i should really have downloaded everything that would help um choirs orchestral percussion it's not quite what I was looking for. I was looking for Storm Drum, but I don't have it. Um, I wonder if Ra's got anything in it. Uh, let's hurry, percussion, gamelan, gongs, taiko, drum. Thank you very much, that'll do. Yep, okay. You are my new friend, you will do. Thank you very much. balance everything because now everything's getting a bit a bit antsy yeah what is going on out there right <laughs> This is all kind of coming together in its own quiet way. Oh, I know what I was going to think of doing. I was going to put a high pedal over that. Um, pedals are long sustained notes, um, all which, which work as a kind of, um, uh, something which har harmonically you why didn't I think about what I was going to say then um, pedals can be high or low they're long sustained note which sort of play against the uh, rest of the harmony but that was the worst explanation I've ever given I will go away and think of a better one and do a video on it oh so Um, it's working all right. Uh, anything else we're going to throw in here? How about it starting on the downbeat guy rather than lazily coming in like it's just been out for a cup of coffee or something? go look this is really nice um it isn't wh when you see fantasy strings you might imagine oh it's just going to be a great big traditional orchestra no it's not it's exactly the opposite of that it's not a traditional orchestra at all it's uh, a collection of interesting medieval instruments um or are they all medieval i don't know um they all sound pretty good and 
if you were, I mean, obviously we've been just focusing on this and other than that Tycho, we've been using just fantasy strings. If you're an East, uh, East West uh, Composer Cloud, yeah, it's, obviously it's a no brainer because you just download it and there it is. It's all part of your thing. Um, but this definitely would find, if you're working in the world of games, I am working, if you're just having some bit of fun and you want to turn out a bit of music with sounds, vaguely Games of Throny in a kind of, you know, some game called, I don't know, um, what would you call a medieval game uh, term? Uh, the Black Chair. Uh, um, I don't know. That, I haven't really got any really good ideas today. I, the author of this YouTube video would like to apologise for the lack of analogies today. Normal analogy service will be resumed as soon as possible. But, um, it's because the weather's so naff, that's why. Because it just kind of mm, drains everything out of you. So it's definitely sunglasses of doubt for the weather, but it's definitely thumbs up for um, Hollywood Fantasy Orchestra strings. Uh, so, yeah, look, um, thank you very much East West for producing uh, an interesting library, which I'm sure will inspire lots of people and have lots of fun. And I will be back with something else uh, pretty soon, I think. Um, if you like the kind of thing we do, did I mention that we do lots of courses in things like how to write music, learn music theory, um, um, sample orchestration, uh, what else do we do? Uh, yeah, all kinds of stuff like that, how to score films. We've got a ton of great stuff you're going to love. So please buy my stuff. <laughs> least sophisticated marketing message in the world. See you next time.